Come on, you know I had to start up with three double twenties. The Trinidad Jose de Salsa Darts Review starts right now. Hey, what's up guys, Worldwide here. We have an amazing video for you today, and I'm really excited to share these things with you. In today's video, we're gonna be taking a close up look at the Trinidad Jose de Sousa Type 2 Darts. Now, before we jump into the video, there's three things I want to tell you about. Firstly, I picked these up at Dart Shopper in the Netherlands. They weren't cheap, by the way. I had to pay 90, 90, 90 US dollars for these things. So certainly not an affordable set, but nonetheless, did pick them up at Dart Shopper. Unfortunately, they're out of stock right now. I have been told they'll be in stock fairly soon. So what I'm going to do, I'll put a link down in the pinned comment. Take you over to Dart Shopper and you can check them out there. Secondly... Jose used these exact barrels to recently put up, check that out, 127 average over a best of 11. 127 average, guys. That's just, actually, that's better than a 12 darter, leg in, leg out, first six legs on the trot. He opened up with a 12 darter, followed by an 11 darter, another 12 darter. In the fourth leg, he threw his worst leg of the match, 13 darts. Back that up with a 12 darter, finished off with another 11 darter. On top of that, 100% on his doubles. I mean, I, honest to God, guys, I can't wrap my mind around how good that is. I mean, you know, 100 average is phenomenal. That'd be a 15 darter, leg in, leg out. 110 average, you're getting into some pretty rare territory. 120 average, only been done a handful of times. And then there's Jose with 127 average. It's just, it's, it's unbelievable. And again, I can't wrap my mind around how good that is. So he's just, uh, he's just unreal. And I think he's a shoe in to win the world championship this year. Yeah, I'm going to call that early. But uh, yeah, world champion 2022? Nah, maybe. Anyway, the third thing I do want to mention is if you saw in the thumbnail, there was a little red arrow pointing to a special feature with these darts. Now, I'm going to show what that special feature is right after the stats and dimensions. And um, for me, in my personal opinion, it's like the most interesting part of the video. So make sure you check that out right after the stats and dimensions. But I won't keep you waiting any longer. Let me grab the other camera down here. We'll take a close up look. We'll go over those uh, stats and dimensions. And then, like I said, after that, I'll show you what this special feature is all about. It's really incredible, guys. And uh, yeah, so we'll go over that. And then I'll take them to the board, throw them for a little bit, give you a little feedback on what I think of the Jose de Sousa darts. Here we go, guys. Okay, here we go, guys. I'm pretty excited about this one myself. We've got the Trinidad Jose de Sosa Type 2 Steel Tip Darts. And as you see here, comes in a really small hang case, very compact in size. But let me see if I can get these out of here. I have a bad track record of opening boxes on video. I always seem to rip them. But hey, look at that. No issues there. But as you see here, it comes in this foam insert. And look at that. There's the first look at the barrels. Well, I guess you guys already saw the intro, so you know what they look like. But you know what? Trinidad has some of the beefiest, most solid point protectors in the business. Look at the size of that thing. Really nice, though, right? And there is the barrels themselves. Now, you may be wondering what's going on with these Condor Devin Peterson flights stem and flight combo. Well, for the rest of the video, I will not be using the Trinidad stems and flights. We'll keep them in new condition just because I'm not sure what I'm going to do with these darts yet. So for the rest of the video, I will be using this setup. And no worries because Condor actually sponsors Jose as well. So all good here. But let me get these things put together. And we'll go over some stats and dimensions. Okay, there we go. All put together. And I really wish you could see these barrels in person because, man, Trinidad is just killing it. These are incredibly nice barrels. You can just tell by looking at them, the, the machining, the quality, everything, just absolutely spot on. But let me hit you with some stats and dimensions here. This is a 90% tungsten barrel. 
The barrel length coming in at incredibly long, 55 millimeters in the barrel width. They're actually pretty thin, 6.2 millimeters wide. Now I just put these on my brand new scale. You guys know they're advertised as 18 grams. All three barrels came in 18.03 grams. Perfect match weighting. So yeah, well done to Trinidad there, but now for my favorite part of the video, let's take a look at this special feature that I was talking about in the intro. Here we go. Okay guys, here we go, special feature time, and bear with me here, this clip's probably gonna go for a couple minutes, but it's really exciting to me, and I think it's gonna benefit a lot of players out there that prefer heavier darts. Like these only come in 18 grams, so if you want a heavier dart, you definitely want to pay attention here. Now I've only seen this feature on one other set of darts in my life, that was the 14 gram, Ted Hankey darts, and even then, it wasn't as extreme as these. So I think some of you already know where I'm going with this. And right here I have my Frankenstein dart. And if you, if you look at the point here, I made a mark at 10 millimeters, 20 millimeters, 30, and finally 40 millimeters, kind of crudely drawn on there with a marker. But check this out. And you know, if you watch the stats and dimensions, they shouldn't have made sense to you because 55 millimeter long barrel, 6.2 millimeters wide, should not weigh 18 grams. It should be closer to 22, 23 grams, and here's why. All right, there's 10, there's 20, there's 30, and almost 40 millimeters deep. To be more precise, these are drilled out 37.1 millimeters in the back end. So that means two things, guys. Firstly, for a straight barrel dart, that makes these things incredibly front-loaded. So, I mean, think, of, think about that, 37 millimeters deep. These things are like 70% hollow, so only like this little finger-wide portion in the front is solid. Another thing that means is that for those of you that prefer heavier darts, these only come as 18 grams, you can now use some tungsten putty or tungsten inserts. I have these four gram tungsten inserts that I made from welding rod. It's 100% tungsten welding rod. And you could stick them in the back. So right now we're up to 22 grams, but listen to this. You hear that? It rattles. So what you want to do is use tungsten putty and you can pack in some tungsten putty in the back end. And by the way, do not use the fishing stuff. That stuff's real sticky. This is the pine wood derby tungsten putty. So you take a little chunk of that, pack it in the back, and then uh, there you go. You can adjust the weight from anything from 18 grams all the way up to probably 23 grams if you want. But yeah, that's pretty extreme. 37 millimeters drilled in the back end, almost a hollow barrel. So yeah, lots of options, tons of options there, or just run them as 18 gram barrels and have an extremely front loaded straight barrel dart, which is incredibly rare. But um, there you go, guys, that was a special feature. Hope you got something out of that, because I don't know, I just think it's a neat feature. You don't see it too often on any sets of darts. As a matter of fact, I've only seen it on two sets of darts, but there we go. Off for a close up look. Okay, let's take a little bit closer look at these barrels and keep in mind, I'm still playing around with this new camera, so I'm working on the best settings possible. And it's taken me a little bit to figure it out, but there you go, nice close up look. We've got a very blunt nose cone, almost like a James Wade type of bull nose cone. Not really a fan of that. In my opinion, these darts would be perfect with a tapered nose cone, but you see the front end, it's almost like a little miniature twin ring grip with a lateral cut going through it. You can see the lateral cut going all the way around the barrel. In the middle of the barrel, we've got the smooth section with the Trinidad logo. And then on the back end, we have this very fine micro multi-ring. Now, the grip level of these all depends on where you grip the dart. If you grip in the front end, I'll give these a level two and a half grip on a scale of one to five. If you're a rear gripper like I am, I'd go ahead and give these a level two grip on a scale of one to five. But what do you say we get these things on the board? And to be honest, I'm not sure what setup I'm going to go with first because I haven't even thrown these things. So uh, yeah, let me get these things on the board. I'm going to warm up for a bit, figure out what setup I'm going to run. Most likely, I'm going to use my own L-style setup. But yeah, let's get these things on the board and see how they fly. Here we go. Okay, let's have a few throws here with the Jose de Sousa darts. And hey, I just found this out this morning or this afternoon. It's like 1.30 right now. So I went to the Dart Sharper website, and now I find out they have a Type 3 dart. So check this out. After you just watched that, um, the clip where the special feature, I'm talking about how they're hollow, how they could possibly weigh 22 or 23 grams. Well, guess what? 
the brand new Type 3 darts, same exact dimensions, although now they weigh 22 grams, so I guess I was kind of right there. That makes me wonder though, I mean, did, did, um, did Jose specifically design these darts to be hollow? Because I do believe he uses a, an 18 gram barrel, I think. I'm pretty sure, right? But yeah, so, his, uh, so the uh, new Type 3 that they're selling, obviously going to be a little bit less hollow and coming in right in at 22 grams. I'm not sure if that second one's in. Oh no, it wasn't. That was only 140. I thought that one was in. Denied. But uh, oh, so I'm gripping these things right in the back, point of finger and thumb, right in the back micro multi ring section. Man, what a clean release. Feels really nice. And if you're a front gripper, this front section, let me try, a, I'll try a couple front grips here. The front section, just ever so slightly more grippy. Oh wow, they stand up. That second dart really stood up too if I'm gripping in the front. But yeah, a beautiful barrel, doesn't matter where you grip, front. You can even get away with the middle because that smooth section is not that big. But uh, for a rear gripper, man, this is a, uh, very, very similar to my 180 darts with that micro multi ring. You know, in my opinion, these would be the perfect dart for me, but I can't get around that nose cone. I just wish it was a tapered nose cone. Oh man, that grouping's so. Oh, that second one was in, by the way, another 140. Wow, so yeah. As you see, these things are throwing incredibly well. I do notice that they're front weighted. These, get, uh, these barrels definitely feel different from any other barrel that I've thrown. I mean, if you didn't know they were hollow, you'd still, you'd be kind of wondering what's going on. And they do, believe it or not. They have a different sound to them because they are so hollow. So it's just a real interesting barrel. Never seen anything quite like it, except for the, uh, the hanky darts, but the, um, the hanky darts, I think, are drilled out. Actually, I have them right here. These are drilled out, 14 gram barrel. They're drilled out 30, 31 millimeters deep, if I recall. All right, what am I throwing for? I'm kind of blocked up there. We'll go cover shot on the 19 and miss. But there we go. I've, uh, I've rambled on long enough. Like I said, really love these barrels. The likelihood that I would ever use these as my match darts, actually pretty high. I would probably rate these about a nine on a scale of one to 10, as far as my likelihood of me using them. I suppose I could get around this kind of bull flat nose cone. Cause I mean, as you see, they were grouping so, so tight. So probably more of a mental thing there. I, I honestly, I don't think it's much of a difference between a bull nose cone, a flat nose cone compared to a tapered nose cone. I mean, James Wade, one of the best art players in the world over the last several decades, he uses a flat nose cone. So I guess it really doesn't matter to be honest with you, but man, what a beautiful set of darts here. But guys, I do have two, kind of two more clips for you. We'll roll into the next one, you know what it is. And then there was a funny outtake, I had to add it. So uh, hope you guys enjoy these last two clips. Here we go. in the middle. Oh, I grabbed that right-hand corner. Boom, with an OG. Boom shirt. So what do we got there? One, uh-oh, it might fall out. One, two, and look at that. Pinned right in the right-hand corner. That was a tight one. And just a good example of what you can do with slim darts, 6.2 millimeters. If these darts are any wider, that surely would have been in the trouble one. Well, there you go, guys. I hope you enjoyed the close-up look. The Trinidad Jose de Sousa darts. I apologize. I probably pronounced his name about four different ways in this video. He actually just uploaded a PDC video yesterday, I think it was. So he actually um, he mentioned his 
the real pronunciation of his name, which I tend to butcher here and there, whatever. I'm American, that's my accent, so I try my best though, guys. But um, hey, like I just mentioned in the um, throwing part of the video there, Dart Shopper, I just noticed this this morning actually, Dart Shopper just got in the Type 3 darts, also the Devin Peterson as well. So the link down in the pinned comment will take you over. You can look at all the Trinidad darts. And by the way, again, the um, the new darts, the Type 3, they're actually 22 grams. So yeah, I, I guess I was right in the special features section. If these things were indeed not hollow, they would be about 22, 23 grams like they are on the Type 3 darts. So yeah, just kind of interesting. And I'm not sure. I wonder if he specified to have his barrels hollowed out like this. Maybe it makes his darts stand up perfect for him. I don't know, but it'd be a good question to ask him anyway. So there you go, guys. Hope you enjoyed the video. Please feel free to leave a comment down below. And if you did enjoy the video, thumbs up are always appreciated here. But as almost always, I do have one little outtake for you. I thought it was kind of funny, so I threw it in. We'll see you on the next video, guys. Later. Silver points.